Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm going to be doing the final on my Dale Earnhardt Senior build. I did this as part of a group build sponsored by Fred Henry, or Pappy as most of us know him, over at West Georgia Rods and Customs. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to his channel. Now you kind of see behind me, uh, I've got a little bit of a Dale Earnhardt Shrine set up. I was a big fan of Dale Earnhardt uh, while he was racing and uh, still am to this day. I uh, hate that he's gone, but that was part of the group build is it had to be a driver who's no longer with us. But anyway, all in all, I think it turned out really well. I'm going to quit flapping my jaws. Like I said, I'm going to show you a couple of the modifications. I'm going to talk about those real quick, but then I'm going to show you some photos and then it's just going to be let the model speak for itself. Been working on it, uh, kind of moving along, and kind of forgot to take photos and stuff as I was going. So I figure uh, before I actually start putting all the major components together, I'll go ahead and uh, go over some things here with you. Now for the engine, I've been doing several things with that. Um, this pump up here came already with this bracket assembly on it, but it just kind of floated there. It wasn't really attached to anything. So what it did, and I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but I attached it here and underneath there's another attachment. I put fuel lines on the carburetor. Hopefully you can see that and you can see where it comes from the fuel pump down here at the bottom. So that runs up. It's a double pump fuel uh, fuel line. Uh, now I've got this uh, dry sump oil scavenge unit and I've actually put a line on it coming out the back side going into the shallow oil pan and I've got this line on the other side that comes out and also goes into the oil pan on the now other side. You see that I do have this line coming off of it that once I get it installed into the chassis that's gonna run back and go through the firewall and make it look like it's going somewhere. So I've got to get the engine installed, uh, then I can put the drive shaft in here, uh, I can put the front suspension components on at that point, uh, I can get the shock absorbers installed. So, and I'm kind of waiting right now, I want to get the engine in, I want to get this line done and taken care of because it's gonna run through the firewall right here. Oh, sorry, you can't see that there. Right here is where this line is gonna run through the firewall. So I want to get that in and installed, get that, that line routed before I put the front suspension before I put the shock towers on um, and I'm going to go ahead and do the engine exhaust uh, once I get it into. Now you'll notice that I've already got the headers installed. Uh, just kind of show you this real quick, hopefully you can see it. I tried to drill this out um, and I'm not sure that you can see that very well, but uh, because it's hollow on the back side, uh, it didn't drill out very well. It looked really junky. So I went and I made these metal exhaust pipes. And I'm going to put them on instead of this junky looking plastic thing. And uh, they're, they're just going to attach right here to this H-pipe. And uh, I think that ought to look pretty nice. So you can see uh, I've got the instrument uh, cluster done. And uh, I guess you can call this a dashboard. Um, I do not want to install that yet either. Because where this line goes through the firewall, this is going to sit over the top of all of that. And it's going to cover it up. And I need to be able to go in behind that firewall and kind of snip this line off. So... You know, there's not a whole bunch of it hanging out in there. Let's see. Wheels and tires. So I painted the wheels and I did the red stripe around the rim. I hand painted the letters on the tires just because I, I really didn't care for the decals. Uh, and these are raised up anyway. So I don't think the decals uh, would set very well unless I put them on the other side of the tire, which was completely smooth. Now you could put the decals there, I suppose. But I like the fact that those were raised and so I, I painted them. I used a paint marker on this. So I was able to control it a little bit better than, than with my paint brush. So I went through and I've added this line right here off of this oil cooler. And uh, that's just a, uh, a piece of electrical wire that I stripped the insulation off of. And uh, I put that on there. And you can see that I've got the coil wire come off the coil. I added the coil wire. And over here on the firewall, it's got these three, which look like master cylinder, slave cylinder, and I'm not sure what the other cylinder is. But uh, so I put lines on them and kind of routed the lines as best as I can think they might go, because honestly, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been able to find any good photos uh, of any of this stuff. So, uh, you know, these race engines and everything, these are, are highly kept secrets. And so I couldn't find any photos. Now, you'll notice on the other side, I also added a line over here. And I know I'm kind of covering up my light a little bit, but I added this line to the oil cooler on the other side as well, just to get a little bit more realistic look underneath the hood. And I've got this line right here, which is going to be the chassis fuel line. That's going to come in from underneath the chassis here, run down the inside, and I'm gonna try and get that to mate up to the fuel pump right here.
pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.